Hey, how's it going? Let's throw this over here. Shit, this fucking light off. Damn, I'm a wreck here. I'm a wreck sometimes. So how goes it? Of course, let me just fuck shit up. So I'm smoking, um... <laughs> I'm smoking my butt. Have been for fucking months, weeks, weeks, weeks. I'm really kind of thinking I need to buy some bud just to taste something different. <clears throat> so, smoking, um, that's what I got left of my grill. I've been smoking it constantly. My son has been. I saved a ton of money smoking my own weed. Um, recent, recently vaccinated. Might get a little stimulus money, which is always a good thing. Um, I uh, my card on my debit card, the chip malfunctioned in between stores, and um, I had to call the bank and tell them I need a new one, and well, I went to the bank, and I ordered one there, and it took too long, so I called, and they said, oh, let's cancel, it's been too long, and we'll send you a new one, as soon as I did that, the next day, the one showed up, fuck, so now I'm waiting for the next one to come, a lot of things I can't do without money, like I can't go repair something where I need to buy a part and get reimbursed without having cash. I have to go to the bank first. I hope I get enough out. I don't want to get too much. It's like, Jesus fuck. So I kind of put things on hold for a minute. If it doesn't come today, I have to go get cash from the bank. So I have to go in the bank. Oh, hi, I'm Tim. I don't have my car. Blah, blah. This is a story. I'm an idiot. Give me some cash. And, uh, I hope I don't have to do all that. <laughs> fuck. Nice. Oh, so yeah. <coughs> the only problem with the vi virus now <coughs> is uh, <coughs> we're right where we were <coughs> a year ago, where people were like, "Hey, it's spring break, <coughs> derp." And run around on the beach like a bunch of knuckleheads. The beach is probably not as bad as indoors, though. The good thing is that, you know, those things like viruses do tend to do better in the winter. And they're not as, you know, not a lot of people get the flu in this, or viruses in the summer. Um, but guess what? It's a global thing. It's summer there, winter here, winter there, summer here, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm excited about the possibilities. I've been stymied for like, it's been like a week since I've been able to really operate fully, just go. You know, I had both cars were out of gas. I had to get cash from my wife to get gas in my cars. <laughs> it's just like, well, that's just fucked. Um, it's just been a little bit of a challenge, really. I had to do things differently, which... I don't like different. I like the same. <laughs> yep. Help is on the way. We do have a crisis at the border. And people are coming because the situations where they're coming from have gotten worse, and they do think Biden's going to give them a break. And the thing is, he will deal with them in a better way, but he hasn't yet. I'm not necessarily disappointed, because I know that um, Wow. Anyway, um, I'm looking at this news report about Navalny, who brushes anyway, Putin's enemy, put him in prison. Anyway, crazy. But, uh, 
So, um, where the fuck was I? I forgot. Oh, yeah, the southern border scenario. So, they he put FEMA on it to take care of the, the, you know, housing and feeding and all that thing with people coming over. Um, they're looking at a, uh, was it a Navy base or Air Force base to house them for a while? They're looking for things they can do, so they're at least trying to address the problem. But we, we need good immigration um, reform. We need a good immigration reform bill. We're not going to get it done without Republicans unless we get rid of the filibuster, which basically is a rule in the Senate that says you got to have a supermajority, which is out of 100 people, you got to have 60, right? Well, it's split 50 50 right now with a Democratic president. The vice president is a vote splitter. So you'd have to have 10 Republicans agree to the bill. And there's not a lot of moderate Democrats. Or, well, there's not a lot of moderate Republicans. Where the Democrats got up a huge tent from progressives to pretty staunch, almost fucking right winger Democrats, right? Like Joe Manchin. Fucking Jesus. Anyway. So it's not likely that any real meaningful immigration bill would pass because it's just not, they're not able to agree. You know, one is more punitive, less people. One is uh, give people a chance for asylum, um, give aid to the country where the people are coming from, you know, help them and make sure it's spent rightly, correctly to alleviate some of the problems they have in their, in their home states, right? Um, when, you know, the best way to fight a gang in a sense is to have better opportunities than the gang does. <laughs> Honestly, the best policy, the best way to combat terrorism is good policy. It's to have jobs available where people aren't subjugated and living in fucking shitholes. You know, if they got opportunity and opportunity for education and health and wellness and safety, they'd prefer that. People join crazy organizations because they feel subjugated in some way. That's what MAG was about. They felt subjugated in some way. They were lied to about who the enemy is. <laughs> but anyway, I get on my high horse. But anyway. But <clears throat> the American people want, um, <laughs> we want many of the same things. Common sense um, gun reform, like extended background checks. Um, yeah. Um, immigration reform. Um, we need a really, really, really robust <coughs> infrastructure bill. <coughs> Yeah, that was a good bomber. It almost made me nauseous. Okay, it did make me nauseous. Awesome. Beautiful. So, it's not like it's bad weed. It's just maybe I need a different taste. So I have, you know, first world problems. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, man. Love, peace, hippie grease. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon.